Hey, welcome back to Matt's Garage DIY. Today, we're gonna to be making a get home bag. So the whole idea of a get home bag, as the name suggests, is to get yourself home after some sort of unforeseen event. That can be anything from as simple as your car breaking down to floods or hurricanes, power grid failure, and at the extreme, a 9-11 type event. Regardless of the event, this bag should have what you need to get yourself home. There's a huge variety of bags out there that I've been looking at. There's family bags, there's holiday bags, there's major military kits that include hundreds of rounds of ammunition and hard body armor. The sky's the limit. Some of these bags are costing people well over $1,000 to build. That's not what I'm looking for. What I am looking for is something that's affordable and something that's an everyday carry size item. The best get home bag in the world isn't gonna help you if you don't have it with you. So for this build, I wanted to set out a couple of parameters, did a little research, and the average person in North America has a 16 mile or 25 kilometer commute to work. Assuming everything is perfect, you should be able to walk that in about five and a half hours. If you're using your get home bag, obviously things aren't perfect. So I've doubled that saying we're looking at like a 12 hour to maybe even 18 hour time frame that you're gonna be outside, away from home and walking. The second part is cost. It's all about the dollars. I haven't put together a total price on this yet. My hope is that this is gonna come in around 150 Canadians. So that's about 115 US. We'll see you when, it's, uh, when it's all done, but let's get started. All right, first up the bag. Pick this up online for 18 bucks. This is a sling pack. You can sling it right or left as well. Carry it in front of your body, behind your back. Uh, it's about three inches deep, seven inches wide, 10 inches tall. It also comes with another six by six pocket, small pouch, and then another zipper pocket on the front and a pouch on the back. Much bigger than this. I'm not gonna be carrying this all the time. Bare minimum, next thing that you're gonna need is some sort of shelter from the elements, water, food, and some basic first aid. If you do nothing else, that in and of itself will give you your very basic get home bag. So first up, I got a dollar store poncho, buck 50 for that. And then I've got a Mylar blanket, about a 10 pack. So this is pretty cheap. That was about another dollar. So $2.50. This gives you some protection. The blanket, you can actually just wrap around yourself. If you've got a jacket, wrap it around underneath your jacket. Is to wrap this space blanket tightly to your core. I quarter it and then wrap it around tightly. Use a couple pieces of that Gorilla Tape that we had on our match container, help to secure it in place, and then throw your jacket on over top. That keeps this as tight to your core as possible, locking in that body heat. As well, once your jacket's on, this is no longer reflective, and it leaves your arms free to do whatever else you need. Poncho, obviously, keep you dry if it's raining out. Both of these, although this isn't the purpose, both of these could be used to make a makeshift shelter. If you get to a point where you're, you know, you need to stop for the night, you can't walk anymore, you can easily, with a little bit of cordage, make a very quick and dirty type uh, lean-to against a fence. So nothing fancy, but as you can see, gives you a place to get out of the weather, rest up for a little bit if need be, and then carry on. Next up is water. I'm packing one 500 mil or half liter bottle. I've seen some people pack uh, close to a gallon worth of water. Remember, this is only 12 to 18 hours. Drink your water sparingly. If you come across an opportunity where you can fill it up, finish what you've got, and then refill your bottle. Mix up some food. Just got a little bit of trail mix, some sardines and a protein bar. All of that is giving me close to 700 calories, more than enough to nibble away on over the course of the day. Ideally, you want something that can be left for extended periods of time without having to check. So this fits the bill for that. All right, next up is first aid. Some of these items are maybe on the more extreme end of things, but should you need to save your own life or somebody else's, you'll be glad for the first two. First up is a tourniquet. I've included the bag in the instructions. I know how to use this, but uh, should somebody else need to use this that doesn't have the experience, I've included that and left that all together. An Israeli dressing or combat dressing, some sunscreen, you want to protect yourself from the sun. All the rest of these items fit into this little soap dish that kind of keeps it nicely all together. So I've got some regular band-aids, just a little container with some polysporin inside, a couple sting relief, some wet wipes, chapstick, some hauls, a little pair of tweezers. This I think is important. This is some mole skin or new skin. Basically this is almost like a foam tape that you can put on. Uh, especially like to your heels and toes if you start to develop blisters. 
gives you that ability to keep walking. And just another little Tic Tac container that I've thrown a uh, half dozen Advil Tylenol and some Tums in there. So all of those items will then fit into here, making a nice compact package. All right, at its most basic, this is your get home bag. You've covered all the basics. You've got some shelter, you've got water, you've got some food, you've got first aid, you've got a bag. Altogether, that's about $52 Canadian or 40 US. We have the room in our bag and we've got money in our budget. Let's take a look at some luxury items to make this a little better. Back to shelter. I'm going to add a hot pocket and some paracord. I do have some additional paracord around a knife. Yeah, spoiler alert. Total, I've got about 30 feet of paracord if you do end up running into one of those situations where you've got to make yourself a little bit of a makeshift shelter. Uh, as well, the hot pocket uh, where I live, it's early May and it's still getting down very close to freezing at night. You'll be very glad for something like that, although it is a comfort item. That's the whole point of what we're doing right now. So hot pocket and some additional paracord, that's about another $5. Next is water. This is one of the areas that I probably upgraded the most. I've added a couple um, powdered drinks. One's an energizer, so it's caffeinated. The other is electrolytes. I'm going to be out in the hot sun. The electrolytes will be important. As well, I'm a coffee guy, so I've included a way for me to make some coffee. I've got a little Tupperware container. I've included like some sugar. One of these Starbucks Vias or a couple of those. Some Coffee Mate, some tea as well. I've got a tin cup and stove. You can get a 300 mil tin cup online for $6. As well, I've got this little hexamine stove that I made. This costs about $2 to make, and I've got some tablets, fuel tabs to use with that. That gives you the ability to boil water, whether you're having a hot drink or you find some water that you need to purify. Time for a hot drink. Perfect. Time for a drink. You can do that. Speaking of purifying water, I have included in here uh, as well some aqua tabs. Two in a package is meant to purify one liter. This is a half liter, so one tablet each time that you fill that bottle up. When we're talking about water, one more thing is a Silcot key. This is essentially a wrench that will allow you to open the water spigots on the side of most commercial buildings or schools that just gives you another way that you can fill up your water bottle as far as food goes the only thing i'm going to add is chocolate this is actually a caffeinated chocolate so it gives you a little bit of extra boost uh, as well as some sugar with the first aid items there are no luxury pieces that i've included with your first aid stuff if you think you need it you should have it in your basic bag now on to some new items lights and signaling i've included an led flashlight this takes a AAA battery. There's one battery inside it, as well as a second AAA battery. Two glow sticks. These are red glow sticks. They will last about eight hours apiece. Um, red doesn't affect your night vision as well. You can easily tie one of those onto the back of your pack if you're walking at night to help prevent the likelihood of potentially getting run over. Signaling. And although this might not be for everybody, I've included a signaling mirror that has a whistle built in on the lanyard. Next group of items, notepad and pencil, whether you need to leave information for somebody or take down information while you're on the go, that'll come in very handy. I've included some matches and tinder. Our intention is not to be staying outside for days on end and needing to light fires, but if you need to, this gives you an ability to do that. As well, around the package, I've wrapped about six feet of one inch duct tape or gorilla tape in case you need it. Portable battery pack. I haven't included cell phones with this. Everybody these days pretty much has their phone with them. This just gives you a way to extend that battery life. And some toilet paper and paper towel. 
Hopefully you don't need it, but if you do, you'll be glad you got it. All right, last up, a knife and some dog spray. So when building these bags, people often talk about self-defense and protecting themselves. I live in Canada. The option of carrying a pistol is non-negotiable. That is something that cannot happen here. As well, even carrying an item specifically for self-defense, such as bear spray, can potentially land you with a criminal code charge. So, legal disclaimer, these are tools. This is a more companion. I've done a few upgrades to it, included a ferro rod, as well as 15 feet of paracord. And this is some dog spray. This is not quite as potent or powerful as bear spray itself, but will certainly do the trick should you need to deter a pest. So all total came out to $151 Canadian. That's about $115 US. So let's put it all together. So there you have it. There is my everyday carry get home bag built on a budget. A couple last things to mention. Flashlight I leave on the outside. It does have a clip so it won't fall off, but if it's night, that saves you digging through your whole bag trying to find this thing. All of my first aid items I've put in this large pocket at the front. If there's an emergency, it makes that very easy to find and quick to access. Lastly, when you open up the main portion of the bag, my pest deterrent is on top. Hope you liked it. Be, uh, look forward to hearing your comments as far as items that you would include or should include. And stay tuned for my next video.